What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this. A trebuchet. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that I did is I went to this website called Virtual Trebuchet. It's a simulator, it's extremely helpful. Uh, it allowed me to input all of these links and test how the trebuchet would work and make sure that I wasn't gonna waste all my time. I mean, as of now, I have not actually built the trebuchet yet, so hopefully the simulator is accurate. But these are all the measurements I'm using. It gives you some measurements at the beginning that are supposedly ideal and will launch a projectile 300 feet. And this is what the simulation looks like. As you can see, it tells me the distance it'll go, so it should go approximately 290 feet, and it'll travel upwards of 113 feet. Uh, you can also input your distances and metric if you'd like. And let's get on to the build. So for, the, for this project, you're gonna need eight eight-foot lengths of two by fours, six six-foot lengths of two by fours, two eight-foot lengths of six by fours, two 50-pound bags of sand, one one-eighth inch steel rod that's six feet long, decking screws that are two and a half inches long, and a quarter-inch piece of plywood that's mm, about two by two feet. We're gonna start this catapult off by constructing the base of the trebuchet. We are having the entire eight foot length of the two by four running this way while it is two and a half feet that way. There's a spacer in the middle where the vertical pole will come out. Now we're gonna screw it all together. I decided it was easier to attach the vertical rods first. So I've taken the eight foot long piece right here, eight foot two by fours, taken two of them, and I've attached a six foot two by four going vertically, directly in the center. And currently I am in the process of drilling a hole five and a half feet up, somewhere around here. And I'm gonna drill it through both pieces at the same time so that they're perfectly lined up, allowing the rod to go in between them without any problems. Now that we have the bar in the middle, we can attach rods here, 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 and here, all two and a half feet in length. Then we can work on supports going like that. So we have this pole in here to make sure everything's lined up, um, but Nate keeps hitting his head on it because it's perfect height for us. So I'm just gonna cut this really quick. This is about, mm, I'd say, two and a half feet, a little more, because it has to be wider than the base itself. It doesn't really matter how long it is though, as long as you have enough to use for the basket part of the trebuchet. Now that we have this contraption built and we know that it can support weight, we're gonna put the triangles up, and the length of wood that's gonna span is gonna be four feet. The angle here, here will be 90 degrees, as it already is 90 degrees. Here will be cut to 60 degrees, and the connection point will be 30 degrees. Now we have the pieces cut out, 30 degree angle here. We just did no angle since it's on the inside of the bars, and we'll just screw everything into place, and then we can start working on the arm and the carriage that's gonna hold the sandbags. So here's the eight foot long piece of wood and we've measured right there. According to the simulation, that's where it needs to be. So we have the arm attached now, and now we need to make a bucket to carry the sand in. And I'm not gonna show how to make that because if you can't make a basket, then you have no business trying to make a trebuchet. So we have our little box here, and now we need to make a lot of spacers on this pole right here and on the pole for the main uh, trebuchet in order to make it so that it doesn't wobble back and forth. So we're gonna take a bunch of the two by four pieces, drill holes the same diameter as the pipe, and then just put those on the pipe to enable stability. So although I won't show you how I made the box, I'll just tell you that it was made all out of the two by sixes and a piece of plywood on the bottom, as you can see there. And so it's just, it's just a really basic box. And then the arm length from this tube to here is two feet, and then just some extra so that it'll stay attached. 
My friend is still working on cutting and drilling holes through all the spacers. In the meantime, I've attached this bar here so that the uh, lever isn't touching the ground. And this is so that I'm able to attach these eye bolts to the bottom like this and one to the lever so I can have this pin system in order to fire the weapon. So you just put the pin there, you pull it apart, and then this one stays on the bottom and this one goes along with the lever and goes up. So I'm just gonna attach those eye bolts onto the bottom of the lever and the base. So I've attached the basket. Both the main lever have spacers and the basket has spacers to make sure that it doesn't wobble. And then, as I said before, I've attached eye hooks down here to both the lever and the platform with a screw, or with a really fat nail in between it so we can just pull the nail, acts as a pin, and then the lever will be released and it will launch. Now it's time to make the sling, and I believe this will be complete. So I've measured out two lengths of paracord that are 12 feet long, and I'm gonna take a piece of leather, I guess you could use canvas if you have it, I just happen to have leather, and I'm gonna make it double the length of one baseball, and I'll attach it between the cords, and I can show you that when I'm done, but that's basically all I'm doing for the sling. I decided instead of putting leather here, I'm just gonna duct tape in between it multiple layers, because then I can change the length this way and the length that way a lot easier. And also it'll stick automatically instead of me having to sew it in or anything like that. So to finish off the trebuchet, you take the long end of the arm, you attach your string right at the bottom of it, and you attach a nail or something. I'm gonna have to grind down this head, but just a rod that sticks out at a 45 degree angle. This is really important. This can change the projectile's distance by over 100 feet if you get it wrong. So make sure that it's exactly at 45 degrees so that it will release at 45 degrees. Otherwise, your, your trebuchet won't work at all. And then on the other side of the sling, if you go all the way to the bottom, I have a knot tied. And finally, one thing I forgot to say is you'll need a little platform to put at the base of the trebuchet to have the sling sit on and I'm just making that out of MDF. All right, we're gonna set up the trebuchet and we'll see if it actually fires. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll make tweaks to see if we can make it fire. As you might be able to see, kind of bent a little bit, and this throws up almost all of the results. So the first one, all the way out there, there's a stick marking it, and that's the first launch was right there, and then it just increasingly got more difficult to find the angle uh, as time went on, because the pole became more and more bent. So we're just messing around with it now, but I'd say that first one probably went about 260 feet.
thanks so much for watching guys. I know this isn't normally how I do my outros, but I thought it'd be nice just to look back at this trebuchet and its magnificence. I'd say for sure use that simulator website. That helps and it makes this so much easier. You don't have to calculate anything at all. It just does it already for you. All you have to do is build it and it was incredibly simple. Things to change, definitely get a stronger steel bar in the middle. Like maybe a larger diameter or something because uh, it bends a lot and that really throws things off. But other than that, I am so happy with this. This is incredible. It's so much fun to shoot and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe some of you guys will build it. Leave a comment down below telling me what you want me to build next. Tell me if you liked the video, tell me if you hated the video, tell me if you think I'm stupid. All right, subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. I'm Audi.